dear students in this session we are going to see the basic on m slash m slash s infinity fifo so that means my arrival rate is poison my service rate is exponential but here the server is not single server it is going to be more than one it is going to be multi server and my system capacity is infinite and the rule always here is first in first out so let us see the formulas which we are going to use in this topic do you remember students in the previous topics rho means lambda by mu we say it as utilization factor or traffic intensity in the first model m slash m slash 1 infinity fifo my rho is equal to lambda by mu similarly my, my m slash m slash 1 with finite capacity rho is going to be lambda by mu but for the multi server model the formula is going to be little different my rho is equal to lambda divided by mu into yes where yes represents the number of servers so when we replace the formula in this model 3 we should be very careful because we cannot use rho is equal to lambda by mu instead of that we are going to use rho is equal to lambda by mu into s okay so with this we are going into the formulas one by one rho is equal to lambda by mu s now we are going to write the formula One by one. Let us do p naught. So p naught is equal to summation n equal to zero to s minus one one by n factorial lambda by mu whole power n plus lambda by mu whole power s divided by s factorial into one minus lambda by mu s whole power minus one. So it is very important in our first two models, model one and two, we use rho is equal to lambda by mu. For the third model, multi server model, rho is always equal to lambda by mu s. You have to remember this. So if we feel that this formula is little big, then we can replace the data. So I am going to rewrite this n equal to zero to s minus one one by n factorial. Here rho is lambda by mu s. So rho s is equal to lambda by mu. So I can replace like this rho into s whole power n plus rho into s whole power s divided by s factorial one minus rho whole power minus one. Similarly, we are going to write the formula for capital P n. L Q L S W Q etc. The students, those who are watching this video, if you don't know what is this terminology, please go to the Queuing Theory Basics. Learn what is mean by L Q L S W Q W S capital P not P N etc. And come back and watch the videos. So in exam point of view, either you are going to use this formula one. Are you are going to use this formula two? It is up to you. Whatever you use, both are correct. So just use the appropriate formula which you like for your exam point of view. Capital P N. So capital P N. Since my number of server is going to be greater than n and zero, I am going to use this notation lambda by mu whole power n into capital P naught divided by n factorial. When n is greater than or equal to s, then I am going to use lambda by mu whole power n capital P naught. Divided by s factorial into s power n minus s. So this is the formula, students. Now, as I said, suppose you are going to use rho. So if I want to write in terms of rho, rho is equal to lambda by mu s. So this is going to be s rho whole power n into capital P naught by n factorial. Here, s rho whole power n into capital P naught divided by s factorial into s power n minus s. So whatever you like, you can use students. The next formula is L Q. In this multi-server model, first we have to find L Q. From L Q, I can build up all the other formulae. So one by s into s factorial lambda by mu whole power s plus one into capital P naught. We know how to find P naught. That's why I gave the formula for P naught initially. One minus lambda by mu s whole square. Okay. Or if you want to write in terms of rho, it is going to be one by s into s factorial 
S rho whole power S plus 1 into capital P naught divided by 1 minus rho whole square. So you can use whatever you like. Now once you did this, next we are going to find LS. So LS formula is going to be LQ plus lambda by mu or you can say LQ since lambda by mu s is rho I can say this as I can rewrite this as s into rho next one ws ws is going to be wq plus 1 by mu and finally wq is going to be and finally wq is going to be lq by lambda so now the basic thing is if you know if you found lq then easily i can found wq if you found wq from this i can find ws similarly using lq i can find ls so everything is connected with lq so we have to find lq in a correct way the next one is probability of n greater than or equal to s yes. probability of that an arrival has to wait okay since we have s yes servers here so we say probability of the arrival has to wait is going to be lambda by mu whole power s into capital p naught divided by s factorial into 1 minus lambda by mu s so again we can rewrite this in our format if you like s rho power s capital p naught divided by s factorial into 1 minus rho so now we can easily use whatever the formula you like and now what is the probability that arrival need not to wait so that means this is the complement so 1 minus n greater than or equal to s will give you probability that the arrival as need not to wait the next one is probability of idle system so from the beginning of all the queuing models we see probability of bc system is what it's going to be rho so now probability of idle system is 1 minus rho so now keep all these formulas in our mind we can easily crack the problems in the exam point of view so according to our syllabus only we have three models on all the three models the first two assumption are same arrival rate is poison service rate is exponential and in the first model we have single server with infinite capacity FIFO and in the second model we have single server with finite capacity FIFO and in the final model what we are seeing here is multi server with infinite system capacity FIFO so you can go and check the fifth unit playlist and you can see all the problems thank you for watching we will meet in the problem video good luck students